Hi there, my name is Sam. I'm here to record a quick YouTube video regarding my mega favorite number, uh, which happens to be prime, but we'll get to that uh, along with many other things. First things first, prime numbers are all around us and they pop up seemingly at random. One of my favorite prime numbers is actually my house number. Uh, it's only four digits long, so it doesn't fit into this particular challenge. So what is a prime number? Prime numbers are integers with exactly one positive divisor other than the number one. 10, not prime. Its divisors are 1, 2, 5, and 10. That's far too many. But a number like 7, there's only 7 and 1. 31 is prime, 47, 83, 181, 227. They're all prime. And I could go on for quite some time, probably an infinite amount of time. So Matt Parker of Stand Up Maths recorded his mega favorite number uh, video and included a prime there as well. So that kind of inspired me to go down that route and find a particular prime above a million or I wanted to share with the world and I, I thought that this was a fun way to do it. I also want to take a, a quick aside and thank the math YouTuber community in general. So folks like Matt Parker and James Grimes and Grant over at 3 Blue 1 Brown, all of the presenters that Brady has had on Numberphile, among many many others out on YouTube, have inspired me to finish my math degree, which I'm right in the middle of. I've got about a year left and I'm pretty excited about it. Send a big shout out to all of them, particularly Grant over at 3Blue1Brown, who has reminded me about all of the calculus that I have forgotten over the past 20 years. So as a prime, it's odd, which should feel pretty obvious. The only prime number that is even is two. This number is also a twin prime, which means that it is a prime that is separated by only one other positive integer from another prime. Two and three don't count. Those are literally next to each other. Five and seven, which are primes separated by six. That's a pair of twin primes. You also have 11 and 13, which is a pair of twin primes as well. So the fact that you can have two primes above a million separated by only a single integer is pretty cool. I'll get to what those two numbers are when we get to the actual number. And then finally, the last thing I wanted to look at here for this particular number was, does the sum of the digits equal a prime number? And in this case, it equals 38. Without further ado, my mega favorite number above a million, which also happens to be prime, is 8,675,309. For those of you who were born in the 80s or you like pop music, you're already with me on this one. That is Jenny's number, 8675309. To pay off on the earlier comment, 8675311 is also prime. Two things there. I did go for the cheap joke. I decided to use a number that everybody definitely knows, uh, but I'm willing to bet most people don't know it's prime. If you made it this far in the video, uh, you'll leave this remembering it's prime. So that was it. I want to thank everybody for joining me today. If you look back through my YouTube history, it's mostly family videos. More recently, I've been shooting time-lapse photography. I'm looking to start to make more of this kind of video, and this is kind of the first foray into that. And again, I appreciate the, the mega favorite number challenge as a inspiration to make more content like this. And I hope you come back to join me. Uh, thank you very much. Bye, everybody.